In this lesson, we're going to install language packs. And just a map where we are with the install Visual Studio 2017 technical documentation page. You can see that we've previously checked our system requirements. We've downloaded Visual Studio. We've installed the installer, which is the Visual Studio installer. We've installed workloads. We installed an individual component. And now we're going to install a language pack. What you want to know about a language pack is that this isn't a programming language. This is languages that people speak. Let me show you what I mean. So first, we'll go to the Windows Start menu, go to the letter V to find our Visual Studio installer, and we'll see a user account control dialog box again. Be sure to click Yes, and in just a moment, the Visual Studio installer will start. And again, since we've already installed Visual Studio Community, we're going to click Modify. But this time, we're going to click the Language Packs tab. And you can see the languages that are available. One thing to note, Visual Studio will recognize the default language that the Windows operating system uses. So, if you are in Italy, for example, your instance of Visual Studio will automatically install in Italian. But let's go ahead and install it in Italian now. To do so, we will uncheck English, we will check Italian, and then we'll click Modify. You can see that it will start the operation. This usually runs fairly quickly. We've just installed the Italian language pack for Visual Studio. Let's take a look. And you can see now everything in Visual Studio is in Italian with the exception of this news area. But take a look. You can see that these items are in Italian. Let's click File and here we are. New Project website, file, it's all in Italian. Now that we've successfully installed Visual Studio in Italian, let's revert back to English. This is very simple. Close Visual Studio, go back to your Visual Studio installer, click Modify, click Language Packs, uncheck Italian, check English, click Modify, and then that process will begin. And now that process has completed, let's check it out. We'll click Launch. It will open Visual Studio. And we see that we've reverted back to English. All of the links in the Get Started area are in English, and the file menus are too. And that concludes this lesson on how to install a language pack.